Hi there and welcome to Death Knights of Kryn. I'm Baron and this is the let's play of the second game of the Dragonlance trilogy. But before I start there's something I want to show you. If you are like me not playing the game the games in their default directory. You see I have a Kryn directory and then Warm for Champions of Kryn, 2 for Death Knights of Kryn and 3 for Dark Queen of Kryn. If you do it like that you actually have to tell the game where it is. And you do that here within that config file. So as you can see here I told the game the Death Knights game where it can find its own save files here and in the second line I told the game where it can find the save files of its predecessor. Okay, and once you did that you can run the game in any directory you like. So let's start. Now you can choose to play the game or watch the demo. That again is sort of the introduction. And here comes the demo. And here you get, you know, an example for a battle again. Again, as in Champions of Trill, those are real dice rolls in the background. So it doesn't have to work out like that every time. Characters get, get a, actually a very good start here at the beginning of the game, uh, of the battle. But it doesn't have to be like that all the time. Sometimes they even lose. I'm guessing the Red Wolf is going to kill this one here. He has a lot of attacks. Oh, damn. A little too late.
And here we are. It's beginning again. I guess it is a loop. So, we import our characters from the Champions of Crimson. The moons changed a bit in the way they depict them. So we s import our characters from Champions of Crin, and here's our party again. Let's take a look at our characters. We have Rekal Dorian, a level 7 Knight of the Rose. 303,712 experience points. I don't think... Well, I don't think everybody, anybody actually lost experience. But, you know, we lost a few important items at the end of the game. After battling Mertani, the Dragonlance... All strength enhancing items were taken away. That cloak of thingy that reduced the armor class is gone as well. The maze of disruption is gone. Hmm. But we still have a two handed sword and stuff, so we are quite well equipped, although not as good as we could have been. Randy Spears is a level 8 fighter. The Sylvia Saint is a level 8 Magia cleric. Zara White is a level 8 white mage. Genevieve Julie is a level 8 red mage. And last but not least, Kobe Tai is a level 7 Mishakal cleric and level 9 thief. And this game also comes with an introduction of sorts, although it's not as lengthy as the one from the Champions of Kryn. I'm going to read that now what has gone before. Well, if you watched my let's play of the Champions of Kryn, then you know what has gone before. But just for the off chance that you didn't watch it, I'm going to read it now. One year ago, the forces of evil were united under the powerful Auric Draconian Mitanni. He had once again uncovered the method of corrupt corrupting dragon eggs into draconians. Aided by his death knight ally Silabaum, he was able to seize control of central Kryn and to feel the dangerous army of draconians at Undead. As the Zalamnic forces converged upon the region, a small band of stalwart heroes uncovered Mertani's secret plans to suddenly generate a huge army and ambush the Zalamnic forces. Mertani hoped to slay key leaders in one swift action and then crush the remaining disorganized resistance. Magic rituals discovered in a stolen tome would allow him to turn stolen dragon eggs into draconians en masse. The, the eggs were well hidden and Selanic scouts had missed them after the War of the Lands. A small band of heroes were able to slip into Mertani's stronghold in Kornan and slay this foul minion of the evil goddess Tachesis before the magic could be used. Without the draconian force, the knights of Salamnia were able to root the evil army and bring peace to the region again. And there's also a letter include, included. You are cordially invited to attend the first anniversary of the victory at the Battle of Kernan. Those in attendance will include the survivors of that battle and those granted a special Salamnic Order of the Champions of Kryn. This will be both a celebration of the great victory and a commemoration of those who fell achieving it. A special memorial will be held for the former commander of the Gargoth outpost, Sir Karl, who was slain defending the oath and the measure. This will be held at the parade grounds outside of the Gargoth outpost. Signed, Sir Harold. Okay, and with that we actually begin adventuring. And we encounter our friend the copy protection again. Yeah, I'm going to fill out an extra sheet again, but till that is completed, it, you know. This will bother us for quite a while, I guess. 50, 61, 9. Let's take a look. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should be shadows. Let's try. It's correct. A year has passed since Mertani was defeated in the ruins of Kernan. The survivors of that campaign have been called together to celebrate and to remember fallen comrades. You meet outside of the Gargoth outpost, which happens to be here. During the year, the knights have used the equipment you donated to restore the peace. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. I would have put it differently. You kinda took them away from me, but let's not split hairs here. The trip to the Gargoth outpost was 
uneventful. You arrive the night before the celebration. Do you wish to rest? Yes, I do. And since we uh, don't have our strength enhancing items anymore, we will change the spell layout a bit. So you get rid of uh, two dispel magics. Because I rarely use them in the Champions of Kryn. And instead, you will memorize. Ah, the good thing is the game uh, kind of remembers what kind of spells you used, and that it offers you to memorize them again. So you don't have to remember mem remember that. That's that's neat. So I take a cure blindness and a cure disease, and that's pretty much it. Exit and well, uh, they changed the layout a bit and uh, the interface. Normally, I would have hit E for exit again. In the champions for now you have to hit key or K or enter for keep. And um you cast your read magic and your magic missile, lose it. And instead you memorize two enlarged spells and you get a fireball as your bonus spell keep it. You also cast a read magic and a magic missile and you lose a stinking cloud. No, I want something else. I want two more enlarges. I want a strength and a fireball. Keep it. You also lose your two dispel magics and get instead a cure blindness and a cure disease. Exit, keep, rest. Fine, let's start casting them. Because, well, we always buff before going to a celebration, right? Hmm. So you cast a prayer. Apparently you did it already. That was fast. A protection from evil. And um, that's it. You cast an enlarge on Rekal Dorian. An enlarge on Randy Spears. That's it. You cast an enlarge on Sylvia Saint and an enlarge on Kobe Tai. That's it. And uh, you cast a bless. And I guess you also cast. Hmm, I wish I could take a look at them. Can I? Yeah, I can. Let's see. Okay, now Rekal Darian has a strength of 21 because of the enlarge. Randy Spears has a strength of 21. Sylvia Saint has a strength of 21. Kobe Tai has a strength of 21 because she uses her Hupak a lot as a ranged weapon, so I'm, I will give her a higher strength. And now Genevieve Jolie will also cast... What do you do? You cast a strength on Rekal Dorian. Let's see whether we can pump that strength even more. No? Okay, so apparently the strength is useless. Okay, good to know. I will not memorize that again then. Okay, so we save. We will not quit. Instead we will exit. Amounts to the same. At least almost. The beautiful Lady Maya stands and gives an eulogy. A eulogy? Shouldn't it be an eulogy? Oh well. Gives an eulogy for Sir Carl. His bravery helped the heroes gathered here to overcome the massive forces of evil. If he were here today, I am sure that he would be very proud. A fat knight whispers to, be, whispers to you. She is amazingly beautiful for a silver dragon. Don't you know that Sir Carl was in love with her? She is now one of the deadliest hunters of evil in the lands. No shit. The festival continues into the, the early evening. 
while thunderheads gather in the west. Suddenly, small specks detach themselves from the black clouds. They grow rapidly larger until... A huge dragon, flanked by nightmares, sweeps toward the suddenly silent celebration. You note something familiar about a decaying leader atop the dragon. Maya screams in despair as she recognizes the gruesome remains of her ex-lover. Sir Carl brandishes his sword as his death dragons no his death dragon swoops towards the scattering crowd. As he comes close, the corpse of Sir Carl shouts, You pathetic worms sicken me. In life I believe the pap about honor and virtue succeeding, but death has revealed the truth. Catch these trophies from the first knights I have met. He tosses down a pile of armor and weapons. As you look up again, he has grabbed the dragon lance on display and is heading away. What? You put the dragon lance on display and you didn't guard it? You didn't give it to a, a strong fighter? Hmm. You're stupid. Maya streaks after him before you can follow. The nightmares have deposited their riders before you. Other knights rush to your aid. And the other thing. Is there only one Dragonlance? I mean, in the Chronicles of the Dragonlance, uh, that Smith, uh, Silver Arm thingy, what's his face? He created several of them. Hmm. Oh well. A battler's joint. No shit. Using leadership ability, Rackle Darian leads Solemnic Knight. So apparently, if you have a high leveled knight in your party, you can. Um, control NPCs and the champions of Grin I never had uh, control over NPCs apparently yeah, I get it that's nice and here we are <coughs> who is attacking Skell warrior probably skeleton warriors with 60 hit points and AC of 2 and nightmares with 33 hit points and an AC of 4 oops <coughs> not so nice AC of minus four, much worse actually. So well, the problem is, is <laughs> I gave everybody as much money as they, or maybe not. Ha! Ah, yeah, I gave everybody as much money as they could carry, but then I enhanced their strength. Ha 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 ha! So they can move again. I like that. And you got. Uh, I guess you delay a bit. You could yell. Doesn't seem to work. Let's form a, a line here. God. So let's take a look at our knights. 25 years. Chaotic evil. How can a Salamnic knight be chaotic? Chaotic evil. He should be good. Lawful. Good. Quite the opposite, <laughs> actually. Oh well, but decent stats. Uh, but how can you ha be level 12 when you only have 3 experience points? Riddle me this. Oh well. Oh, you can't walk in this direction. Well, you also got them. You delay. You move. Oh. Fine, God. God. How? Oh. Um, what do we have? First nightmare has appeared, and here are the skeleton warriors. Okay. You move. Oh, that's the end. Actually, fine, you got. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get your pennies all on the bunch here. Wait, speed. This is too fast for me. Can't even see what's happening here. Exit. Move. No. Boom. Okay. So let's take a look around. 
we have three of them here and a death knight you have 112 hit points that's good oh yeah you are still encumbered because you're not <laughs> you haven't been enlarged fireball let's see one two three since we're outside good night oh not so nice oh still dead good what do you have uh, there's a nightmare here and there's a nightmare here so you cast oh maybe move a little closer That's actually not necessary. Fireball. One, two, three. I really like the new animation for the fireball. So, what do we have? There's a nightmare here. Okay, maybe you... No it was okay go in here and uh, cast a magic missile on the nightmare because I don't want to use a fireball here although I, I think I could have 16 and you're dead thanks uh, there's nothing that you need to do right now oh shit you could have done something so you are much stronger and can move a lot there's a skeleton warrior here. Where is everybody? Oh, there are the skeleton warriors. Let's see. You actually try to hit him. Oh, you miss. Oh. Yeah. Well, the question is, yeah, I think you want to go. Ow. Oh, Ow. Oh. Can you move? No, you can't. Then you go down here. Um, where is everybody? Well, there's one here. Okay. Oh, oh, god dang it. Could we cast a magic missile on them? Probably won't work, right? Let's try. I guess they are pretty much resistance against anything. Hmm, as I thought. Where have to duke it out? God. Although you could, of course, you know, close the distance somewhat. Oh, you can't go there. Uh, okay, then. End. Ah, that's nice. It remembers who you attacked the last time. You don't have to aim it again, apparently. Aim. See? It remembers it. Can we attack? It's probably... Oh, we can attack, yeah, but we miss. And you're dead. That's nice. So, I guess it was really helpful to increase the strength of our party members here.
Nah, you're blocking Rekal Dorian. It's never a good thing, she doesn't like that. Oh, missed. Can you attack? Yeah, apparently the range is much larger now. Although without darts we really <laughs> don't do much damage. Oh. Well, uh, we rather stay here. Don't get in the way. Good night, you're dead. Well, who's next? God? Um, you delay a bit. Interesting. You delay. <laughs> we have to <laughs> gang up on the last skeleton warrior here. Oh, Sylvia, you can do better than that. Exactly. Zero damage. Hmm. Good night. The party has won. Each character receives 3,242 experience points. Ah, we found no treasure. With the enemy defeated, the knights gather what they can and retire to the outpost to regroup. Evil forces close in and lay siege. The outpost gates will soon be sealed against the invaders. You walk up to the main gate. You carry the herd to the temple. Many are in agony. Help with healing? Sure thing. Will Rekadarian cause cure light wounds? She will. You cast a spell. A young woman is healed. Will Sylvia Saint cast cure disease? She will. You cast a spell. A sick child is healed. Will Sylvia Saint cast cure blindness? She will. You cast a spell. A blind woman is healed. The outpost commander walks up. We thank you. As he died, and I willed this to you. The party has found treasure. Each character received 66 experience points, and the party has found treasure. Twice, apparently. What do we get? Then, uh, a ring. Nice. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we exit. Congratulations, the party gains experience. Hmm. After you rest, see me in my chamber. It's upstairs. Upstairs in the keep to the northeast. Okay, and as you can see, those characters are purple here, that means they can level up. So we will encamp and get our magic back. You memorize your cure light wounds, you memorize all of that, you memorize all of that, you don't get the strength. A large magic missile fireball. Strength apparently is useless. If you are already enlarged, it doesn't stack. Too bad. And you get your blast back. 
so we rest for nine hours. Oh, should have fixed. Oh well. Okay, so we will exit, save, and call it a video. So thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.